My hair is a mess. Sobrang lumilipad yung buhok ko, pero hindi ko kaya ng walang electric fan. So, <laughs> we're going to magdiis tayo sa ganyan. Hi guys, Raisa here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a haul. A typical makeup classic haul. What? A typical classic makeup haul. <laughs> Almost, well, yeah, lahat to is local items na available na sa market. So, matagal na rin yung iba dito. Hindi na sila super bagong bagos and bagong release. So, huwag kayo masyadong mag-expect. Pero yeah, these are uh, new to my collection. Pero yung iba nagamit ko na dito. Actually, halos lahat nagamit ko na dito. First item, mag-ano muna tayo sa foundation. It's the foundation I'm wearing right now. I will try to insert the clip kung saan ina-apply ko siya. Actually, na-record ko yun. Kalahati ko na siya, no? So, yeah. Na-apply ko na kalahati sa mukha ko. Pero anyway, it's the Everbella na All Day Liquid Foundation. I've heard so many good reviews about this. And sobrang quality niya, you guys. It feels like it's a high-end foundation. As in, sobrang plakadong-plakado yung finish sa mukha ko. Yun lang, medyo may konting pagka-powdery finish siya. I mean, medyo kailangan mong I press my IG sa face mo, but if you're going to use a beauty blender or any sponge, okay na okay siya as in as in parang yung quality niya is parang Romero Vlon na rin siya and all. And hindi siya ganun kamahal if I'm not mistaken. Hindi siya kasing mahal ng mga Maybelline or Revlon or uh, L'Oreal. So it's actually good if you are going to do the plakadong makeup like for an event. Okay na okay to kasi it's a medium to full coverage. Asin natanggal niya yung blemishes ko, natanggal niya yung veins. Natanggal niya yung discoloration sa aking face. It's super, super plakado. And this this shade matches me really well. It's uh, in the shade Silk. So, kung kakulay ko kayo, kung ka-skin ka tone ko kayo, okay na okay yung Silk. Uh, you will get here how many? 30 ml ba? 35 grams. So, that's uh, that's actually nice. Usually, kasi 30 grams lang yung meron tayo. Get skin that looks flawless at every angle with ED All Day Liquid Foundation. This buildable formula helps even out skin tone and conceals blemishes. Actually, lahat ng kinlin-kinlin niya is totoo. Para sa experience ko. Yeah. Although, syempre, hindi ko pa dun sa otbong araw. Hindi ko alam kung paano siya sa araw or kung pag pinagpawisan ka na and all that. Pero, once applied, oh my God, mawawala talaga yung mga blemishes mo. It's a good one to try. Pero kung pang daily use lang and everyday use, ito pang event-event talaga to. Pero kung daily use, ito ang masasuggest ko, si BLK Cosmetics Skin Tint Sun Shield. It has SPF 30. It's a medium coverage skin tint. So, kapag kasi sinabing skin tint, para lang siyang... Um, skin moisturizer na tinte pero yeah it has a medium coverage hindi mo siya super kailangan i build up hindi siya super buildable pero may medium coverage na siya so matatanggal matatanggal niya na yung mga konting blemishes mo mga veins and all that nakatira to sa aking bag and I swear by this it's so 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 good and it has additional SPF for your daily use so, kung pa office office ka ganyan okay na okay to and kung wala ka naman tinatakpan na super uh, blemish yeah, this is good. This is a good product. Ang galing, ang galing ng ano natin, local market. As in, parang yung quality ng local makeup five years ago is not this good pagdating ngayon. As in, super competitive na mga brands ngayon. Ang gaganda na mga nilalabas nilang products in my opinion. As in, lalo na si Everbella na si Caroline na yan. Super, ano na sila, humahataw talaga pagdating sa quality. We also have another BLK Cosmetics item right here. It's called their Face Stack Multipot. Multipot? Multipot. Multipot. I don't know. Ganyan yung itsura niya. Para siyang makeup stack. If you are familiar with Milk Cosmetics. Milk Cosmetics or Milk? I think it's Milk. Milk Cosmetics. Yung parang black siya na nagsa-stock up siyang ganun. Parang ganun yung concept niya. So, it's it's actually magnetic. Like that. So, yun lang. Ang fear ko lang dito is kapag nasa bag na siya or nasa makeup kit mo na siya. Hindi ko pa na-try. Pero, baka may tendency na mag-move siya. Kasi madali siyang, mag madali siyang galaw-galawin. So, kung medyo... Yun, kung medyo gagalaw siya sa bag mo, baka may tendency na ma matanggal siya sa pagkakamagnet and masira yung product sa loob. Bought two items lang kasi ang mahal niya. $2.99 yata yung isa or $3.99 kung, kung kasama yung takip. Uh, I have it in the shade Room Service, yung blush nila. Actually, isa sa Room Service sa bestseller, sabi ni ate. Para siyang moon, I'd compare it to the moon of uh, Sunny's face which is my favorite. I'd say mas creamy. Mas waxy, I think. Yeah, in my opinion, mas waxy si, si BLK. Parang mas smooth yung texture ni BLK. And the blendability is actually nice. And the color payoff, as in. Ang ganda ng color payoff niya. Uh, konti lang. Konti lang yung kailangan mo. So, this will last you for a really long time. Hindi ko pa siya super nasubukan na matagal on my face. I just sw swatch it and apply once. 
Pero okay na okay yung blendability as in it's there. The blendability and the pigmentation is okay. Yung jet setter medyo hindi ko bet kasi ang ganda nung ewan ko but parang nagustuhan ko siya sa tester niya. <laughs> Pero nung ina-apply ko na siya, parang super waxy in my opinion and hindi siya super nakikita. Jet setter is their yeah, right? Yeah, jet setter. Jet setter is their highlight. So yun siya. I don't know if you can really see but yeah, it's their and it's their only highlight shade. And medyo may pagka peachy yung kanyang kulay. Which is nice kasi pinay skin tone dwells toward the peachy shade na ganap. Pero yeah. It's it's there. It's the the daily the daily highlighter. Uh, paano ko ba i-compare yun? Paano ko ba siya i-describe? Para siyang hindi siya plakadong-plakadong plakado highlighter. Hindi siya super boom highlighter. But if you want something that's really uh, wet looking on your face uh, and okay siya for daily use, Jet, has, Jet Setter is actually good. And kung mahili kayo sa cream products. I bought one cap. Yung cap niya is yung merong mirror. And pwede ka mamili kung anong shade yung merong cap. So ako isang cap lang because I plan to stack them up. Pero hindi ko alam kung bibili pa ako ng ibang products na to. Because I'm actually satisfied with the room service. Yung kanilang blush. And yung highlighter is just okay. So meron silang, I think, apat ba na blush? Four shades of blush, one highlighter, and the one bronzer. I'm not quite sure kung apat lang yung blush nila. Pero yeah, that's the whole collection. It's actually a nice concept. Bago siya sa local market natin pagdating sa uh, blushes and highlight and bronzer. So wala pang gumagawa niyan dito. Pero yeah, it's 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 actually nice. I think papatok siya sa mga millennial. So the next item we have, speaking of cream products, is from Caroline. It's also called their multi-pot. Yeah, multi-pot din yung tawag. I have... Three shades right here and tatlo pa lang yata yung nire-release nila. I'm pretty sure maglalagay pa sila or magre-release pa sila ng uh, mas maraming shade. We have the Magic Spell, the Abra Kadabra, and Head Over Heels. Uh, ang gaganda ng shades nito, you guys. It's really, it's really nice. And mura lang, mura lang siya. Of course, i-compare mo kay BLK and kay Sunny's Face. Uh, patok tong mga to sa market natin ngayon. Kasi dahil sa mga Korean looks, I think, mas madaling gumawa ng drunk blush effect sa mga cream products like this one. This is Head Over Heels and I think this is my favorite. Uh, super intimidating siya sa una. Ayan, super, super pigmented. Pero kapag binlend out ko na siya, sobrang magiging parang fresh looking lang. So this is what Head Over Heels looks like. Pag iniswatch mo, ganyan siya ka-dark. Ayan. Pero kapag binlend out mo na siya, it blends out really well. Super blendable and super long-lasting. I'd say na ito yung pinaka-long-lasting sa Sunny's face and sa BLK para sa experience ko because the formulation is a bit stiff. So, medyo hindi siya waxy or hindi siya movable. So, kapag nilagay mo siya, plakado na siya sa cheeks mo. That's actually a good thing for some. For some, medyo intimidating yun kasi kapag nilagay mo na siya, hindi mo na siya ma-blend out agad. Abracadabra. I think this is the berry one. Ang hirap buksan. Ang tensya ni pang bukas. Yeah, very This is swatch. Sobrang, ito yung pinaka-pigmented sa kanila. Nakukin lose ko na naman. As in, sobrang tap lang. Hindi mo kailangan manggigil sa kanya. Ang ganda nito sa mga may morena skin tone yan. This is abracadabra. Lakas maka-fresh. And another shade is Magic Spell. Ito yung pinaka-light. And I think this is the peachy one. Let's do a swatch right here. Yan. Medyo may pagka-peachy pinkish shade itong si Magic Spell. Ganda rin ito. I think this is one of the, their best sellers. Yan. May pagka peachy siya. Yeah. But this is my favorite. Uh, head over heels. Pero yeah, this one is a um, close second. I, I think that's less than 200 pesos. 195 or 145 if I'm not mistaken. Sobrang mura niya lang. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Or 249 ba siya? I'm not quite sure. Pero yeah. <laughs> so, ang dami kong blush. Ang dami kong blush dito. Uh, we have two new shades from the Caroline All Control. Blush on. May gusto kong bilhin he. He. May gusto kong isang bilhin pero hindi ko pa siya makita or out of stock na. It's the Orange Bliss. Gusto ko siyang tignan. We have the Pinch of pinch of Plum and Berry Pop. I have Pinch of Plum. Pinch of Plum. <laughs> Ang hirap sabihin. I have Pinch of Plum over here. Ayan. Itong si Pinch of Plum, sobrang ano niya. Sobrang dark. You need a really light hand. Kasi kapag nasobrahan ka dito, magmumukha siyang pasa. Ganun. Magmumukha siyang parang binugbog ka or sinampal ka. Ayan. Sobrang dark niya. So you really need a light hand. What I do is, pagka dinip ko yung ano, yung aking blush brush dito, like that one, itatap off ko muna siya sa balat ko or somewhere. And then, that's when I apply my blush. Sobrang pigmented niya. As you can see, ayan, nakikita ko siya sa, sa skin ko. And I have the, I had this makeup for an hour now. Especially sa mga morena out there. Nako, pinay skin tone. Bongga yan. 
This one I haven't tried yet. It's the Berry Pop. Obviously, it's a berry tone. Ganda rin ang shade nito, you guys. High-end ng feels nitong formula niya. As in, super nice, super soft and smooth lang ng formula niya. Hindi siya powdery at all. And the best thing is, 95 pesos lang siya, you guys. It's less than 100. That's mind-blowing. So, yun. This is berry pop. Ayan, sobrang berry. Berry-ish ng shade niya. So, yan. Ito yung kanyang blend and shade. Ang favorite ko sa line na yan, of course, is Starlight Shine. And ang dami ng stock ni Starlight Shine ngayon. For quite some time, ang tagal out of stock nito. Kala ko discontinue na nila. Pero yeah, Starlight Shine is my, it's the best pa rin para sa akin. Next one we have is from Caroline. Again, it's their uh, Blythe collection. Their Starlight Shine uh, collection. Yeah, product. Uh, I have it in the shade Pegasus. This is, I think, their best seller. Ganda na quality niya. Super ganda na quality. Para siyang may pagka-duo chrome. Itong si, si Pegasus. Yeah, that is super, super reflective. Ang ganda-ganda nito pang inner corner mo. Yeah, I have uh, a halo eye right now. Pero pang, pang inner corner, sobrang ganda ng quality. And hindi siya patchy. Hindi siya nagbubuo-buo. It, how much is this? It's worth, I think, a little bit higher than their usual products. Parang nasa 200 plus to. Pero okay na okay pa rin siya. Imbis na bumili ka ng Stila, or ng other uh, formulation like um, Colourpop, mag ano ka na lang. Starlight Shine. Yeah, Blythe. I love it. Another blush from Caroline is their Coral Stick. Meron ako nung peach stick ba? Yeah, I have the peach stick and the rose stick right here. Meron din sila nung berry stick. Hindi ko na yun binili kasi and dami ko ng berry tones and I don't really dwell on the berry tones. Coral Stick is my favorite out of the four shades they Produce. This is what it looks like. Again, super intimidating pagka in-apply mo. Pero once blended out, sobrang ganda niya. The same formulation. This looks super, super natural when you have uh, the same skin tone as mine. Pero I think okay rin siya sa mga morena. Yeah. Super good. Super pigmented. Pero medyo mahal siya. It's worth uh, 199 So, yun. Pero the blendability is okay. Pero if you ask me kung meron na ka ng ganito or meron ka ng ganito and if you need another, you don't need another. It's the same thing. Uh, I'd suggest you dwell more on the this one. Si Multi Pot. Kasi mas madali siyang dalhin. Ito kasi medyo nawawala-wala yung natatanggal yung cap niya. And medyo bulky siya. Pero if you are going on the long run, mas maraming product itong si, si Coral Stick compared kay Multi Pot. Because si Multi Pot, ilan lang siya? 2.2 grams lang to. And si uh, Coral Stick is merong 5 grams. For this one, ito hindi ko siya isa swatch. We have the full collection of the new dish. Ang tagal na rito sa collection, you guys. And I just got it. Kasi hinintay ko tong Hinintay ko to. Itong full collection niyang yan, it came with a box. The good thing actually is, makakatipid ka compared kung bibilin mo siya ng isa-isa. And I really wanted to have the whole collection because it's so, it looks super promising. As in, hindi ko pa nasaswatch yung iba dito. I think I've used one which is milk tea and I loved it. I love milk tea. Yeah, hindi ko pa nagamit yung iba dito. I'm pretty excited especially for casual and birthday or b-day. I'm going to do a full-on swatch of this one and a full-on review. So, I won't swatch it right now. Pero ang sad thing is nagmahal si Sunny's face. Nagmahal sila yata ng tig 50 pesos each and that's a lot. Ang bigat nun. Para kunyari, estudyante ka ganyan. Ang bigat-bigat niya. <laughs> Nabili ko siya for 1,850 if I'm not mistaken for the whole collection sa Beauty M&L. And ngayon, 200, 2,150 niya yada siya. So, that sucks really. I don't know why brands do that. Pero, yeah, nagmahal si Sunny's. Actually, lahat ng products niya nagmahal. Pati si si air air blush pa dito mga to i also have the full collection of this i don't know if it's still relevant kasi ang dami nang nakagawa itong kanilang what do we call this lip dip yeah i have the full collection right here comment down below if you want me to do a full collection or a uh, full swatch or pwedeng pagsamahin ko na lang to sa isang video that will also be nice and i think it's the same formula walang pinagbago and just the nude shape nude nude shape Actually, last na mga to, we have palettes. So, I have three palettes right here. We have the EB Advanced Rich Palette. Yeah, rich lang yung pangalan niya. This is what it looks like. Yan, rich palette. Uh, nagamit ko na to and super, super, super yung quality, you guys. As in, natutuwa ako sa mga local brands, especially Everbelena. Kasi actually, sila talaga yung super nag-improve yung quality pagdating sa uh, eyeshadow, especially. This. Well, these are crap, you guys. Ito, nirelease nila, I think, three years ago, two years ago. 
it's it's nothing compared to this. Sobrang ganda ng quality ng mga bagong nirelease nila ngayon. The Iconics. Iconics ba tawag doon? The Ultimates. These are one of the best, I think. As in, parang ano siya, Morphe quality, para siyang color pop quality, ganun. This is called the Rich Palette, 15 Shade Eyeshadow Palette. And they, it dwells more on the neutrals and the berry shades. So yeah, merong neutrals dito. We have all the transition right here. We have the berry tones and we have the champagnes. Sobrang ganda, you guys. Uh, I will do definitely do a makeup look out of this one kahit yung naka-fast forward lang or so. Uh, yeah, I love the quality of this. This is actually better than this, in my opinion. Uh, Nakapag-compare ko sila ito, mas blendable and mas hindi siya powdery. Anyway, this product is the next one. It's from Detail Make Makeover. Yeah, Detail Makeover Sunset Dream 15 Color Colors Eyeshadow. Sobrang, ooh, sarap-sarap ng shades niya. Color pop who? Ano? Diba? Ganda ganda. This reminds me so much of um Color Pops. What do they call that? Wait, ah, yeah, cute AF. This one right here. Ito yata yung first ever Color Pop palette. See, si cute AF. And this one reminds me of that. So you don't need to order online from the day sa Color Pop. Go to your makeup detail counters. And yeah, Sunset Dream is the way to go. And this is obviously a warm palette. Pero hindi lang siya yellowish and orangey. Meron din siyang berry right here. So, it's a good quality eyeshadow too. Yun lang, mas marami siyang kick off or mas marami siyang, mas powdery siya compared to Rich. Pero, the blendability and the formulation is very nice. Oh my god, you guys. Just look at that quality. Sobrang ganda ng quality nila. Candle lit. <laughs> sobrang ganda. Especially the ano, metallics nila dito, sobrang ganda. Also, the mattes are really blendable, especially Morn. This shade right here. It's a perfect transition. Ang ganda niya. And warmth. Yung yellow nila. This one. I love it. I super love it. So, maganda silang dalawa. If you are more in the neutral, berry-ish, go for rich. But if you want the adventurous, like the colorful, sunset, warm, yumminess, go for Sunset Dream. And next one, we have the Vice Cosmetics. Ito, hindi ko na alam kung... Hindi ko alam kung available pa siya. Kasi nabili ko to. It's on sale. And yeah, I think uh, face out na siya. So I'm not quite sure if it's still available. Pero if it's still available, it's a good pro product to have in your collection. I remember, hindi ko pinapansin yung collection na to ni Vice Cosmetics. Yung kanilang BT21 Universe na collection. I think they have lip products, they have the duos, like the highlighter and the blush duo. Pero hindi ko pinapansin kasi I think it looks really childish and it looks meh, like. I think it wouldn't perform. Pero nung sinwatch ko, itong yung palette nila dun sa tester. As in, sobrang what? Napawat talaga ako. Kasi, ang ganda. Ang hirap lang buksan. <laughs> super blendable. And I've tried few of these. And super, super blendable niya. And if you are the neutral gal, yeah, this is the way to go. And maganda na meron silang almost black shade right here. It's actually grayish. But it's nice if you are going for a dramatic look. As in, this is, it's, it's a good palette. Yeah. This is the best time kung meron pang ganito sa mga department stores niyo. It's the best time to buy kasi naka-sale na siya dahil nga facing out na siya. It's, a, it's one of the best local palettes that we have, truly. I am very hopeful na si Vice Cosmetics magre-release pa ng mas maraming ganyang quality na palettes and mas maraming color options. That's it for this haul. I am super super excited of what the local brands offer right now as in sumasabay na talaga sila sa sa makeup makeup quality trend as in sobrang ganda ng mga quality na and pretty happy because available siya locally so that's a win-win situation for us mura sila available sila locally and yeah i'm happy they're good they're good you guys like this one super super good this one ay nako ay nako talaga i hope you enjoyed this video i'm pretty sure you have used one of these palagay ko yung iba dito eh holy grail na yung iba dito so yun comment down below Ano pa yung kailangan kong itry? Ano pa yung kailangan kong i-check out sa ating local counters? And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope this was still helpful. Don't forget to give me a like. Don't forget to comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you in my next video. Always remember, be beautiful, be you. Bye!